Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Clint with All Things Paint. Today I am joined here by a lovely, lovely lady. This is Virginia. She is going to be helping me on the first couple of videos here for doing her own Alpha Hawk from the AccuStrike series. So I know we found this one at Walmart. Yes, we I did. You, I know you really like the style of it and everything. Yes, I, I really do. like it as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just really an all around and all a pretty decent weapon, actually. I'm actually very surprised with it. Um, so, as many of you saw, we have finished up the Wrath Bolt. Uh, that came out to a very good one, and that's on its way to Kyra at the moment. Uh, and I will be messaging her later on that. But we, since this is your late birthday gift, yes. I figured you should have some some say in that. So, first thing we got to do, though, as you see, we've got the red dot site and we've got the bipod on here. So, we need to go in and remove these. Mm -hmm. And uh, that way we can kind of get ready for sanding. So first off, go ahead and fold. Thankfully these just unscrew. Set that to the side. Now I just need to find my Allen wrench. And I will be going over this in another video about accessories and how we're going to be going over or how we put these on and make sure everybody understands it just a little bit better. But that'll be later on in the series. And now we also have to remove our Fanta Seals uh, Bittini Rail Adapters. Uh, these were just really small ones. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, pretty cheap, pretty easy. Um, anyway, here comes the fun part. I have to find the right size. <laughs> Hey, first try. There we go. Now, the one thing about these Pictini rail adapters is you don't want to go too deep into them because where they usually put the actual rails on these Nerf guns, they have actually just put them as the line that joins them together. So if you start putting them together, or if you tighten them too much, they can actually split your rifle. Or, as you can see, like right here, babe, mm -hmm. you see how it's kind of pushing down into the seam? Yes, I see yeah, that. That's what we don't want. We try not to do that. It happens sometimes. You're never really going to see it, but. That's true. Mm -hmm. be quick I don't plan on taking my mods off. <laughs> no. She's not like me. All right. We will loosen them up. Mm. The other thing they've got is they've got little pieces that act for their own style, for their own bipods and everything, mm -hmm. that they catch on every little thing, so it's like you gotta pretty much remove the screw in order to take it off. And the other good thing is, is we'll be able to hide these crimes as well when we paint. Yes, that's true. Okay, so let me. So I need to remember three, three seconds for that. All righty, well, that's good. So if you could, babe, hand me some newspaper. Some newspaper. 
Let me just set that down for two seconds. Now, the fun part is before we do anything, because what I want to do is I want to remove your priming handle. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit easier for us to actually paint it and lay it on its side if need be. Yes. There's this little slot with the AccuStrike series, especially for the Alpha Hawk. These little slots here, they're on both sides. What we got to do is we got to go in with something thin. anything thin. I don't think I do. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe something flat and metal is what I need. Mm, no. Maybe. Actually, you just get an idea. So I forgot about this. We're just going to use a flat tip screwdriver here. And all we're going to do He lives in an apartment building, so we can. Smell I smell it. toast. <laughs> he can smell everybody's baking or okay. <sighs> ovens as we're going. Don't worry, he's not having a brain aneurysm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll have to try to get those off later. I think I need something a little bit more thinner and longer, or bigger, I should say. But that's okay, because all we're going to be doing today is sanding. So that's not a problem. So, yes, I'm going to leave this to the side for right now. Do that. That should do it. Alright. So, what I'm also going to do here, we're going to go little bit that way and then we're just going to taper down because you are going to sand it mm -hmm. she's going to learn how to sand Have you ever seen it before? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you understand we use the 60 80 grit for um, for roughing up the surface. Roughing up, and then we use the 220 for removal or for, for removal buff. and buffing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So what you're going to do here, babe, is you're going to go through in any part that you want painted. Mm -hmm. You're going to go ahead and hit. I would recommend not hitting this because this is a nice, actually, yeah. silicone. Yes, it's nice silicone. You so, don't paint silicone. No, and we'll be taping that up as well. But I've got some better ideas. I'm going to walk, uh, talk with you through that and be able to get that going. So you go ahead and... So is there any particular way I should be doing this? Well, instead of going underhand, I always say go overhand. overhand. Yep, just like that. Now, the other thing you can do, Ben, mm -hmm. is what I like to do is 
you fold yourself a little section. That way you're controlling it more with your fingers instead of your hand. Yep. And you don't need to go too hard with it. You just you want to go just kind of quick over with the. Yep, there you go. It's all set up and good to go here. Yeah, we did a really good job with this, didn't we, baby? Mm -hmm, we did. Yeah. So we got everything good. I see a couple spots that I can go in and change up later, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but with that, yeah. So we've got it sanded down. We're getting it ready for paint. Uh, with that, um, next one you'll see will probably be us going into masking and just going over different colors and everything. Mm -hmm. And that might even be off camera. Um, of the uh, paint scheme, but we'll we'll uh, we'll discuss that later. Yes, we will. But um, with that, thank you all for joining, and we do thank you for joining us on this new adventure of this Nerf gun and getting it back up into an actual good-looking piece of equipment that Virginia is going to love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> with that, thank you all for joining us, and we will see you all on the next. Video.